Hi, uh, today we will be doing week 9 stats graded assignment. This is question number 1. A discrete random variable x can take values 1 to 12. For these values, the cumulative distribution function is defined by f of x equals to p x less than uh, the variable x equal to x square plus k by 49 where the variable x can take the values 1 to 12 same as the random variable x find the value of k so first we will understand what do we mean by this actually uh, to draw this graph in a sophisticated manner we will say f of x for discrete x equals p of discrete x less than x which will be equal to if x is less than 1 we will get value 0 if x uh, if x is equal to 1 and 12 I mean x belongs to the range 1 to 12 including 1 and 12 we will get value x square plus k by 49 and otherwise for any value of x greater than 12 we will get well answer 0 okay so uh, we will be drawing a graph for this uh, so that we can understand what should we do to solve this question let this be f of x for x so at x equals to 1 here yeah, suppose it's 1 we will get value k plus 1 uh, putting value in this uh, equation uh, x as 1 so k plus 1 by 49 suppose here's k plus 1 okay k plus 1 by 49 so our respective point would be here and for x equal to 12 the highest value we will get 144 plus k by 49 it actually has no use this graph has no use but it is just to clarify what a graph in reality would be so it's a quadratic equation a graph would be like this uh, to give you a basic understanding of this graph i would say that between this area of this graph will have the value 1 so we will say all of this area will contribute to 1 by the way it's just a general graph it doesn't mean that a graph will look like this uh, what I mean is this is a quadratic graph so this graph could also be like this like this and this is a negative portion this is a positive one so con totaling your uh, computing total area would actually give us one okay the value one so i hope you understand the basic uh, notion of this uh, quotient so to calculate the area of a curve what we generally use is integration uh, I hope that you all guys know the integration uh, even though I'll help you understand with the basic terms of integration of any x raised to power n dx it's a general okay we will get x raised to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 
plus c here c is a constant we will be using only this part in this question uh, similarly if this is an infinite integration for a definite let us suppose uh, lower limit is a and upper limit is b uh, answer would be c would be removed as it will be cancelled from both the sides and a b which represents that uh, this value for b minus this value of a okay so you will understand uh, in this in further question here our equation is we have to integrate here x square plus k by 49 dx from 1 to 12 so we can say this is like I mentioned before x square by 49 plus k by 49 here k has 0 uh, k is multiplied into x raised to plus 0 integrating it uh, separately we will get our answer x cube x raised to plus n means x raised to plus 2 plus 1 x cube by 3 into 49 wait a minute 3 into 49 okay from 1 to 12 plus x k into x raised to plus 0 would be x into k by 49 from 0 to 12 so what we can conclude that area of the graph for any polynomial a cumulative polynomial would be 1 I mean in total okay so we can solve just solve this equation and get an answer for value k uh, let me erase all of this okay so what we were left with uh, x cube by 3 into 49 1 to 12 plus kx upon 49 1 to 12 equals 1 solving this uh, we will get x cube uh, let, let me just put the values this whole this whole will be equal to 12 cube by 3 into 49 minus 1 cube upon 3 into 49 this plus 12 x 12 k upon 49 minus k upon 49 equals 1 so uh, using uh, I mean combining all of the 49 term uh, we will just multiply the whole equation with 49 we will get 12 cube minus 1 by 3 plus 11 K equals to 49 okay uh, after using calculator we will get this term upper one will be 1727 and dividing this term with 3 we will get 57 I mean this term only it will be equal to 575.6 6, 7 you can see that okay so we can uh, whole write it down 575.67 okay so 
after this we can generally write it as 4 11k 11k equals to minus 52 minus 526.67 and finally a uh, k would be minus 526.67 by 11 which will be equal to minus 47.878 I don't know how much I have to continue for this because it's just told us to find the value of k so you can write it just like this okay thank you this is the end of the question 1